Hello, thank you for joining Raspberry PKR Tutorials. Um, I'm Martin Parker and in this video series I'm going to be showing you some Python. Uh, this is going to be Python 3. Now I have Python 3.7 on my um, OkPy, my, my laptop, my Raspberry Pi laptop. Um, you might not have 3.7, you might have 3.4, 5.0 whatever um, so check your version if you have a newer version so 3.8 etc um, then you should be able to do what I'm doing because uh, it tends to be um, back compatible um, but there may be some new features um, and I will try and do some new videos in the future of if some things have changed so if you have the latest version of Raspberry Pi OS or the latest Raspbian you may not have the Python IDLE or the shell however it's called um, you might not even have Python installed on your Raspberry Pi or your Linux machine um, but this is how you could install it so first of all from the command line <coughs> enter sudo apt get um, update and it'll just make sure everything's up to date I've just recently done mine it can take a few minutes not this section um, but uh, this next one can take a while the, first, the update doesn't tend to normally take long um, so apt dot get and then up grade um, this can take a while depending on how often you do do it um, but you can actually have a dash Y on there so it doesn't actually ask you as soon as you click enter it will just install everything um, but it, just so that you understand what I mean I'm not going to press enter but I am up to date so it's not going to display it but what it'll do as it's checking there it's checking through but it wouldn't bring you back to command line it would give you a question saying it's going to use this much memory do you want to install yay or nay so basically you press yes uh, a yeah or a no um, and then it will go off and install or get oh, sorry up, update um, well upgrade stuff um, it can take a while like I say it can take moments it can take minutes it can take I don't know it might even take an hour if one if you haven't done it in it absolute ages um, but it's uh, it's always best to keep it up to date so that is how you actually get your Pi up to date so to install Python you could do sudo at get install python free and it will go off and it will check but I have the latest version that's currently used on um, I'm actually using Raspberry and um, Buster um, but depending on which or when you're watching this video um, it may be a different version available um, so that is how you would actually install python um, if you do actually have Python installed you may not have the IDLE which is this uh, window that I have here I tend to use the idle um, there is other editors in the programming section on your Pi so there it is in mine um, there is the Moo and I think Genie as well um, there may be one or two of us but I don't there you go um, I prefer to stay away from stuff um, on my Windows laptop I prefer to use IDLE uh, rather than using PyCharm or whatever because I want to actually do the code I don't want to have suggestions on how to get around stuff I want to learn how to do it um, myself so that's why I prefer using idle um, not just because I'm idle <laughs> um, so there you go um, so to install IDLE uh, you would put sudo 
apt yep sudo apt get install um, python dash id le and it will go off and it will check and I put the wrong thing in um, you just put idle and it will go off and then do it um, I'm not going to outtake that that's uh, that's the way I am um, that's if you watch any of my other videos you'll see that I make mistakes everybody makes mistakes um, spell mistakes or whatever um, so there you go don't put Python ideally <laughs> just put idle um, so that is how you would actually install the Python shell um, so that's it for this video um, but keep watching in the playlist to learn how to do other things functions printing using lists etc um, I hope you uh, enjoy the videos thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one